cell cycle and cell division in that cell cycle or cell division means what actually one cell will be present that cell is dividing and it is going to give rise to most number of cells so one cell is dividing and giving rise to two more cells so that is what we call it as what cell division and when you are saying it is in the form of a cyclic representation because from this cell this cell will also divide and form two cells they will also divide and form two cells they are also going to divide and form two cells like that the cycle continues that's why we call it as what cell cycle okay now the cell cycle or cell division when you are speaking about there are two types of cell division so what are the two types of cell division when you are saying there are two types one is your mitosis so what is the first type of cell division it is mitosis and another one is your meiosis okay so today what we are going to discuss is we are going to discuss about mitosis okay now cell cycle you can adjust the definition if you are going with what it is the sequence of events by which a cell duplicates its genome means the dna content what is present that is being a duplicate copy of it is produced and they are synthesizing the rest of the component because from one cell two cell has to form means here how many mitochondria were there that should also be present here here how many endoplasmic reticulum how much golgi bodies everything should be there right along with the dna also when you are saying how much is present here it's uh, uh it's uh, it has to have more of the same then only they can give it to this cell as well as this cell isn't it so they are synthesizing what they are synthesizing the constituents which are needed for the cell division uh, for that what and all is needed the protein the dna content uh, the cell organelles everything is getting synthesized okay and eventually they divide and they will give you giving rise to two daughter cell so this one we call it as what cell division okay now when you are seeing the phases of cell cycle the cell cycle when it is taking place uh, so how many phases are there it has been divided into two main phases so what are the two main phases one is the interphase and another one is the m phase okay so if you are looking into the diagram you can understand this is the phases of cell cycle one is your interphase and another one is your m phase okay so interphase interphase means it is intermediate between the divisions okay now uh, m phase is what it is dividing mitosis phase they are going the cell is going to divide so before division the cell has to undergo a stage called as what interphase so in the interphase what is going to take place uh, imagine this is the cell which is found out of division is there now the cell will go for g1 so this is a new cell formed from cell division this cell will be going for the first stage called as g1 phase so in this interphase it is divided into three what are they g1 phase s phase and g2 phase in g1 phase that is gap 1 phase what is going to happen is that the cell will be forming all the cell organelles which are needed for the division okay so they will be synthesizing ribosomes they will be synthesizing protein they will be synthesizing cell organelles mitochondria uh, endoplasmic reticulum content and all will increase the cell con con means uh, the constituents which are present inside the cells will increase in number so that is taking place where in the g1 phase okay so that is a main important uh, phase wherein all the things which are needed for duplication the things are getting prepared where in the g1 phase so here sometimes what happens is that replication of dna will also take place okay so moving on to the next stage that is s phase in s phase what is going to take place sometimes the replication of dna will start over here or sometimes it will be starting in the s phase now what do you mean by replication of dna okay so interphase g1 phase i told you cell components are getting synthesized along with that in the later stage the last minute you can find the dna replication is also starting now listen students what is actually going to happen now if you are taking a cell inside the cell you are having a nucleus inside the nucleus you are having the chromatin network isn't it so i am taking out this chromatin network means the chromosomes so chromatin network when you are saying it is a chromosome the chromosome if you are saying this chromosome is a net like thread like structure which is present this chromosome if you are saying is made up of what they are made up of dna what is the chemical composition they are made up of dna and protein so this is the dna so how many chromosomes do we have we are having 46 chromosome how many chromosome 46 chromosome okay 
So, uh, this uh, chromosome, this is one chromosome if you are saying, so inside that what is present, the DNA is present, is not it? So, this DNA content when you are saying 46 chromosome has to form duplicate 46 chromosome. So, for example, I am drawing this is one chromosome, okay. This is the second chromosome, continuation, this is the third chromosome. This is the fourth chromosome. Like this, how many chromosomes will be there in a coiled manner? 46 chromosomes will be there. Now, when the cell is going to form a duplicate copy of its chromosome, that is DNA replication, actually what is happening? In the chromosome, you can find what the DNA is present. The DNA strand will be present like this. Now, this DNA will start to unwind unwind means what they are going to separate out like this they are separating it out okay so this one also was present like this they are separating it out okay so in each and every chromosome the dna are getting separated you can find okay now what will happen the substances which are needed for the synthesis of dna are all synthesized inside the cell okay they will form this dna will form its duplicate copy right and this DNA will also form its duplicate copy. Like this from 1, how many I am getting? I am getting 2. Like that, how many chromosomes are there? 46 chromosomes. These all 46 chromosomes will also have the same process of DNA replication. What is going to happen? The DNA is going to unwind. And each DNA strand will form its duplicate copy. And they will be forming two sets. Like that, from this 46 chromosome, in the S phase, when you are seeing this 46 chromosomes are forming 46 duplicate copies. As a result, now how many chromosomes are there? There will be 92 chromosomes there, isn't it? So, this process we call it as what? S phase synthesis phase DNA replication is taking place here. DNA is synthesized here. From one set I am getting two sets so that I can give one set to my daughter cell. Okay. So, that is what is happening where in the interphase yes phase DNA is getting synthesized. From one set I am getting double the set. Okay. What is the next phase? The next phase is your G2 phase. So, G1 phase I told you all the cell organelles, the proteins, uh, food, what and all is needed is all prepared and kept ready. S phase, the DNA is getting synthesized from one set of DNA, how many sets of DNA from two sets of DNA from which means uh, 46 chromosome is forming its duplicate 46 chromosomes and its present day okay, in the cell. Now, what is the next stage? It is G2 phase. What is happening in the G2 phase? In the G2 phase, you can find the cell is checking whether all the components is ready. In case, if at all any component is missing, that component is synthesized during which phase? This phase. They call bodies, mitochondria. Every component, when you are saying, they will check if it everything is okay, sufficiently is present, then the cell will be okay. Otherwise, they will produce the same. Okay, in the gap 2 phase, they are producing the same, right? So, these are the three steps during the interphase where the cell seems as if it is resting, but actually it is not resting. It is making itself ready for division, right? Now, listen very carefully. There is a stage, the silent stage, okay? Which means that sometimes if the cells does not want to divide, okay? So, in heart cells, some cells are there, they do not go for division. Uh, after formation, they want to move into a resting stage. In that case, what happens is that the cell moves into a resting stage. When it, the cell is not going to divide anymore, they will be in the G1 phase. So, when you are seeing that cells, how they will be G1 means what? A cell has formed its protein content, mitochondria, every numbers have increased. Okay, they have grown to some extent, but the DNA replication will not take place. S phase will not take place. So, if the cell wants to rest, hereafter I am not going for division. Okay, I want to stop my division, especially in the heart, cardiac muscle cells and all you can find that is happening. So, in that case, what happens is that the cell will be going for the resting stage, permanent resting stage. So, that one we call it as quiescent stage and this stage 
is when the cell you are noting they will be in which phase they will be in the g1 phase okay cell would have increased in size with more amount of content but whether the dna has replicated no then the cell will become was 92 chromosome some other species no so the dna replication will not take place within g1 phase they will give it in stop the cell will not divide yet if the cell wants to divide the cell will go for the next stage that is s phase thereafter it go for g2 phase then they will go for division right yeah so we will see one by one g1 phase interval between what the mitosis means the cell division and dna replication is taking place in g1 phase the cell is metabolically active i told you they will be synthesizing producing chemical reactions are taking place inside the cells and the cell is continuously growing in size with the content okay does not replicate its dna usually doesn't replicate its dna the last end of the g1 phase only they want to go forward the next stage that is the s phase so in the s phase what is happening dna synthesis or replication is taking place i told you so 46 chromosome will form its duplicate 46 chromosome there is no increase in the chromosome number chromosome number why it is not increasing why they are saying like that yeah i am saying this 46 chromosome is forming its duplicate 46 chromosome but all these 46 chromosome are lying side by side together so when you are seeing this chromosome is forming its duplicate copy but they are attached with one another that's why it is seem like they are not having 92 chromosome how many chromosomes are only there this is with other one pair so how many will be there only one so imagine this is one only but they are forming its duplicate remaining in close association actually it is two it has formed its op opposite when the duplicate copy but they are attached with one another that's why how many will be only visible you can find only 46 are visible but all would have produced how many they will be producing the duplicates copy so uh, actually when you are saying the cell is 2n condition only but the chromosome number means the chromosome content has increased the dna content has increased but you can see they are not forming what this 92 chromosome rather they are having what the 46 chromosomes only okay so that is another condition okay the cell remains in the diploid condition next what is going to happen g2 phase so here the proteins are synthesized which is necessary for the cell division to continue i told you what is quizzing stage some cells in adult animals do not appear to exhibit division they don't want to divide like example is heart cells and many other cells they divide only occasionally most probably they will be resting sometimes only they will be going for division okay whenever there is an injury in that case there it has to be replaced that time they will go for revision otherwise they will not be going for division so those cells they remained in a stage called as what prison stage and in this stage when you are seeing the cell will be in which phase g1 phase of the cell cycle okay so that is regarding your prison stage the next one what we are going to discuss is your meta phase okay right now i think uh, it's clear uh, all the concepts are clear till now so what we discussed we discussed about interface okay so we will recollect once more what we did we discuss about this interface yeah once more we can discuss right so when you are seeing this interface actually what is happening it is divided into three stages what are the three stages one is the g1 phase here all the component which are necessary for the cell to divide the uh, cell organelles as well as the protein uh, food content everything is increasing in size second is your s phase here the dna replication is taking place okay so here actually how many chromosomes were there 46 chromosome they will be forming a duplicate a chromosome of itself okay actually 92 will be there but the chromosome number is not increasing because each has formed its duplicate but they are remaining in close contact so this 46 will remain 46 only but when you are seeing the content it would be equivalent to 92 okay so that is taking place where in the s phase thereafter in the g2 phase they will check if everything is okay for division they will go otherwise they will be synthesizing especially the protein which is needed for the building of the cells uh, will be synthesized and they will be going for the next division called as what the m phase right now we are moving on to m phase or mitotic division mitosis phase right 
So, interphase we have seen G1, GAP1, S and synthesis. G1 phase the cells are active, they are increasing the content, it is growing, DNA is not replicating. Here the DNA is getting replicated actually when you are seeing the increase in the chromosome number is not taking place because they are attached with one another only duplicate copies are formed they are, they are in close association. Cells remain in diploid what is the diploid condition it is 46 what is the condition 46 ok. But all these 46 is having how many it is duplicate copy as well but they are intact in close association right. Now, what is the next stage G2 phase here the proteins are getting synthesized when the cell does not want to divide the cell will remain in what stage quizzing stage and in this quizzing stage the cell usually occur in which phase G1 phase ok. So, with this is over now we are moving on to M phase see. So, what is M phase? So, I am having 46 chromosomes right this 46 chromosomes when you are seeing is going to give rise to two cells which are having again 46 46 chromosomes. So, the daughter cells as well as the parent cell. So, this is a parent cell and this one is the daughter cells. The daughter cells is having the same number of chromosome like that of the parent cell. That is why the name is called as what equational division. The parent cell as well as the daughter cells are having same number of chromosomes ok. So, involves a major reorganization of virtually all component of the cell since the number of chromosome in the parent and the progeny, progeny means what the daughter ok. The cells which is formed is the same it is called as what equational division. So, mitosis is called as what an equational division. Now, this mitosis is divided into how many stages? Four stages. What are the four stages? One is your prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase ok. So, what are the four stages of mitosis? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. Now, moving on to the first one mitotic division. Mitotic divisions when you are seeing it has been divided into two uh, divisions. One is your karyokinesis and another one is your cytokinesis. So, when a cell want to divide first the nucleus will divide ok who is going to divide first the nucleus is going to divide first then only the cytoplasm will divide ok. So, the cell division when you are seeing it is divided into two stages one is karyokinesis which is the division of the nucleus second one is cytokinesis which is the division of the cytoplasm. Now, this nuclear division is divided into that is four stages prophase metaphase, anaphase and telophase ok. Now, the first one is your pro interface, interface I told you already. So, we are moving on to prophase. So, in the interface I told you all the chromosomes will be present they would have produced its duplicate copy they are remaining like that right. What is taking place in the prophase? In the prophase the nuclear membrane which was present it is going to get uh, means uh, disappear ok. So, what is disappearing? Nuclear membrane is disappearing. So, this is a cell means this is the nucleus is not it. So, what is happening inside the cell? The nuclear membrane is disappearing. You can find the nuclear membrane is disappearing that is the first stage ok. Second centrosome you know is not it? The centrosome will divide and they will form two centrioles. What they are producing centrioles we have learned is not it? So, the centrioles in case of animal cell I am speaking because centrosome is not present in case of plant cell is not it. So, the centrosome we are now speaking about animal cell ok. So, the centriole will divide one centriole will be present over here another centriole will be coming to this pole ok. They will be moving towards the opposite poles right. So, nuclear membrane has disappeared centrioles as move towards the two sides centriole when you are saying they are moving they are going to move towards the two ends ok. Thereafter what is going to take place you can find this chromosome in the interface what was the phase in the interface when you were seeing this chromosome how it was present it was present like a coiled chromatin network form is not it. But now this chromosome will be getting converted into or not later prophase first prophase we will see ok. So, the now the chromosome when you are seeing they are going to get converted into rod like structures ok that ding 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 this uh, network is over they are just the 46 chromosomes when you are seeing they are splitting and they are going to appear somewhat condensed form ok. So, that is going to take place here. 
nucleolus which was present nucleolus you know inside the cell there will be a nucleolus so that nucleolus will also disappear and in the later stage you can find all the chromosome i told you how many chromosomes will be there 46 but all these 46 will be having its duplicate copy i told you isn't it one will be forming its own duplicate copy so you can find here actually this is one chromosome this is one chromosome but this one chromosome with its duplicate this chromosome with its duplicate this chromosome with its duplicate okay so like that how many chromosomes will be there 46 chromosome each chromosome with its duplicate copy will be present in the condensed form rod shaped form now from the thread it has been converted into rod shaped form okay so what and all has happened in the prophase stage ma first is that you can find the nuclear membrane disappears the nucleolus you can find it is disappeared centriosome will divide and form two centrioles they will be moving towards opposite poles the chromatin networks chromosomes are condensed and they will form chromosomes and these chromosomes from the chromatin network it is forming chromosomes and the chromosomes will remain in pair okay so they are remaining in pair uh, inside the uh, what is that nucleus okay so this is happening where in the prophase stage right now we are moving on to the next stage metaphase so in the metaphase what is happening in the metaphase you can find that the chromosomes which were present with its duplicate copy each chromosome they are trying to come towards the center where they are going to come they are moving coming towards the center so where they are going to remain actually they are going to remain in the equatorial plane so what that plane we call we call them as what the equatorial plane so they come the chromosomes will come towards the equatorial plane so you can find here how the chromosome has come i will just show the diagram here okay you can find in the metaphase the chromosome has come towards the equatorial plane so this is uh, anaphase actually metaphase oh yeah so this is a metaphase okay this one diagram is only present anyhow so they are coming towards the equatorial plane equatorial means what towards the center all the chromosomes are aligned in the center when you are saying and each and every chromosomes they are attached from the centrioles a fiber will come that fiber will get attached to which one they are going to get attached to these chromosomes okay so this is taking place where this is taking place in the meta phase i will show you this in the form of a diagram i will draw and show you it will become more clear okay as we were discussing regarding metaphase so in metaphase what is going to happen listen carefully so in the prophase what had happened we have covered so first is what the nuclear membrane will disappear what happens to the nuclear membrane it disappears chromatin network was present now they are getting converted into what chromosomes these chromosome is having all its, its duplicate copy now the centrosome will divide and they will form two centrioles one centriole will move towards one end another centriole will come towards another end okay and what is happening the nucleolus which was present is also disappearing this happened where in the prophase what is that phase prophase now in the metaphase what is happening listen carefully the diagram was not that clear that's why yeah now listen in this metaphase what is happening is that the nuclear membrane is gone okay so this is the cell the nuclear membrane has disappeared now you can find uh, the chromosomes which are present along with its duplicate these chromosomes are coming and lying side by side where they are coming and lying they are coming and lying uh, in uh, equatorial plane like this they will be coming towards the equatorial plane and like this 46 chromosome will line up in the equator okay so just like that they are lining up in the equator so how many will be there 46 chromosome all with its duplicate copy are lining in the equatorial plane so that is the characteristic feature of what the meta phase and these all chromosomes when you are seeing they are attached by from the centrioles you can find the spindle fibers are formed what is formed spindle fibers what is formed spindle fibers now the spindle fibers will attach to the centromere isn't it so, so uh, what is the spindle fiber centromere we have already learned when we are learning chromosomes isn't it so each chromosome when you are seeing at the center there is a region called as what the centromere where the chromatids are attached so you can find this is the region where the chromosomes are attached to okay so this is what we call it as what 
the, we call them as the centromere region there the spindles are coming and attaching who is coming and attaching the spindle fibers are coming and attaching okay now listen very carefully this is the characteristic feature of metaphase all the chromosomes are present in the equatorial plane and the spindle fibers are attached to the centromere of the chromosome now what the spindle fibers will do next stage okay the spindle fibers will start to contract what they are going to do they are going to start to contract so when they are going to start to contract you can find each and every chromosome which were present i will draw okay so imagine this was one set of chromosome which was present isn't it with the centromere this is one set of not that clear yeah so this is the one set of chromosome which was present now the spindle fibers present over here this side as well as this one is from here this is contracting this is contracting what they will do is that they will divide the centromere one set of chromosome will be moving towards one side and another set of chromosome will be coming towards this side because this contraction pulls one set towards one side and other set towards the another side by splitting the centromere one set will be moving up and another set will be coming down so here you can find one set will be moving up and another set will be coming down one set will be pulled up and another set will be pulled down one set will be moving towards one pole and another set will be moving towards another pole okay so like this you can find how many will be how many were there in the center 46 all these 46 one set is moving towards one side and another set is moving towards another sides why this chromosomes are not called as 92 because you see this chromosome after it is producing its duplicate copy each of them i call them as chromatid what i call them as chromatid so this is why chromosome 46 chromosome one was present but when it has put produced its duplicate copy now these two separate separate chromosome we will not call what do we call them we call them as chromatid okay so one set of chromatid is moving towards one pole and another set is moving towards another pole like this one set of chromosome has moved towards one side another set has come towards other side okay so towards the opposite poles this takes place when anaphase so metaphase they are in the equatorial plane in the anaphase they are moving towards opposite side one set is moving up and another set is coming down one set is moving up and another set is coming down one set is moving up and another set is coming down so like that you can find the contraction of the spindle fibers pulls one set up and pulls one set down okay so like that the two chromatids uh, chromosomes chromatids actually we call that moves towards the opposite sides okay yeah now what is the next stage so anaphase is over prophase i told you what happened metaphase equator anaphase it has moved towards opposite pole because of contraction of the spindle fiber what is going to happen next telophase all opposite of prophase will be happening during telophase okay so these chromosome and all have moved one chromatid actually they have moved towards opposite pole isn't it so this one set is present over all the sets of chromosome 46 chromosomes are present over here isn't it so the same way 46 chromosome will be present over here so these 46 chromosomes they will get converted into thread like forms again the from the rod shaped structure all will join together and they will be forming how many chromosomes all these 46 chromosomes will be getting converted into chromatin network so this one is also going to get converted into what chromatin network condensation will go and they will get converted into chromatin network what happened in the prophase nuclear membrane disappeared isn't it here nuclear membrane will start to appear this side here also the nuclear membrane will appear so inside the cell this is happening the nuclear membrane is appearing okay so here this nuclear membrane is appearing here also nucleolus what happened it disappeared in the prophase isn't it here the nucleolus will come so the nucleolus is coming again then in uh, prophase what happened the spindle uh, means you the centrioles uh, they move towards opposite so spindle fibers start to form isn't it so, so from the centriole what started forming the spindle fibers started forming in the prophase isn't it in the prophase what we discussed when we were discussing prophase we discussed centrioles they move towards opposite poles they started the formation of what the spindle fibers here what is happening the spindle fibers is disappearing the spindle fibers is gone it's not seen okay now all these opposite to what the prophase so nuclear membrane 
reappears nucleolus reappears spindle fibers disappears chromosome means chromatin network was converted into chromosome here what is happening the chromosomes are getting converted into chromatin network and you can find like that how many nucleus two nucleus is formed each having how many number of chromosome 46 number of chromosome with this the telophase is coming to an end which means the karyokinesis is coming to an end division of nucleus is coming to an end now what will happen in animals and plants what is the difference listen very carefully in case of animals we know that the centrosome was present isn't it so that's why two centrioles came from that the spindle fibers but in plants when you are seeing in the plants uh, when after the prophase immediately after the prophase you can find the spindle fiber starts appearing naturally from the opposite poles without centrosome that is number one naturally the spindle fiber happens it happens it synthesizes spindle fibers from some region towards the poles they start preparing the spindle fibers that will help in attachment during the meta phase okay that is number one difference second one i told you in case of animals if you are seeing the cell what how the cytoplasm divided cytokinesis how did it take place the nucleus divided they moved out cytoplasm they started constricting like this you can find two cytoplasms were formed actually what is happening you can find this one nucleus one nucleus two nucleus were formed cytoplasm was present new this was present like this slowly a furrow starts developing this furrow deepens and two sets are formed how many will be formed two sets are formed. in case of plant it is not like that immediately you can find after the formation of immediately after the formation of this nucleus karyokinesis two uh, new nucleus are formed cell plate will start forming from the center what will start forming cell plate because cell wall cannot come like this it's very hard rigid structure isn't it so he, from here you can find a cell plate is formed and the two cells are formed in cytokinesis okay so that is the difference between what the plant cell and the animal cell centrosomes are not there so spindle will arise from somewhere in the pole region and uh, here in the cytokinesis also in the plant cells when you are seeing cell plate is formed but in case of animal cells because of constriction it happens okay animal cells since the cell membrane flexible they can constrict and they can separate out but in plant cells it's rigid so a cell plate is formed in the center okay now we will discuss what is written one by one ma yeah so what is the first stage i told you mitosis is divided into division of nucleus karyokinesis division of cytoplasm cytokinesis karyokinesis is divided into prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase first is prophase chromosome material condense into chromosome so chromatin network actually condense into chromosome each chromosomes has two chromatids attached at the centrum here i told you this is one chromosome when it is forming its duplicate copy what do we call we call them as chromatids now we call them as what chromatids okay attached at which region centromere centriole reach either poles so centrioles are moving towards each pole isn't it spindle starts to form spindle fibers are starting to form that is number one in prophase next is metaphase chromosome undergo maximum condensation condensation means what they will become like they were threads now they will be condensing and forming like this much condensed form they will be forming spindle fibers will be attaching to the centromere i told you the spindle fibers which is formed will go and get attached to which one the centromere one will set attach here another one will be attaching in the central here isn't it the chromosome align themselves at the meta place phase plate means the equatorial plate okay so we call this one as what the equatorial plate to that they are getting attached so that is meta phase next is what anaphase chromosome splits i told you the chromosomes are splitting one set was present here one set was present here this is splitting one set is moving up and another set is coming down chromatids are becoming separate one set is moving up and one set is coming down towards opposite poles okay so chromatids move towards opposite poles with the centromere facing the poles so the centromere when they are moving it will be facing the poles like that they will be moving one set will move up and another set will come down okay that is anaphase telophase what is happening telophase chromosome clusters at the, at the opposite spindle fibers they are making clusters clusters you know the chromosomes are getting converted into again chromatin networks 
and thereafter nuclear envelopes is starting to form okay around the cluster you can find the nuclear membrane is formed nucleolus golgi complex everything is getting synthesized inside the cell towards the opposite poles they are producing okay next what is that cytokinesis the cells are constricting the cytoplasm is constricting and a furrow is take forming and they are divided into two cells okay so cytokinesis marks the end of cell division in animal cells by forming furrow in the plasma membrane furrow deepens ultimately joins at the center dividing the cytoplasm into two this is regarding animal cell thus furrow is deepening and they will divide into two in case of plants how it is taking place you can find the cytokinesis in plants so here is the cell the cell is dividing by the formation of what the cytokinesis cell plate is formed synthesized and then they will divide okay now last point is what is the significance of mitosis so when you are saying the mitosis why it is needed why is mitosis needed okay number one is that mitosis they are maintaining the chromosome number in the parent how many chromosomes were there 46 in the daughter also how many chromosomes were there 46 46 so the chromosome number is maintained very important for that mitosis is significant because if it is division is taking place and it is giving rise to cells are dividing and forming 23 23 means uh, it will become a new species from this 23 then 12 and half 12 and half it has to form so maintenance of chromosome number is controlled by whom this mitotic division equal distribution of chromosome is taking place that is one significance one importance second volume surface ratio is maintained with the parent cell as well as the daughter cells which is formed will be having same uh, surface ratio another one the nucleoplasmic content when you are saying inside the nucleus also the dna content when you are saying that is also maintained it's the same as that of the parent and main thing is that you want to grow you can grow only the cells divide the cell division which is taking place for growth is what the mitotic division so mitosis is taking place resulting in your growth the growth is possible because of mitosis so you want to grow or any organism want to grow the cells need to divide for that mitosis is needed and sometimes what happens is that this your cells are worn out your cells die it has to be replaced by new cells so for that also what is needed mitosis is needed for example my blood is lost or i have donated some blood to someone or i met with an accident much amount of blood has moved out of my body now if the cells the red blood cells when you are seeing uh, the cells in my body if it is not multiplying if it is not dividing do you think my body cells will be replaced no for replace for any repair repair means there is a cut okay in my body uh, some where there was a, a small cut or crack whatever it is so after some time it heals isn't it thereafter i cannot see where the cut was i cannot recognize which means that there the cells has repaired themselves that reparation repairing is also taking place because of what this mitosis so for growth for replacement for repair some of the cells when you are seeing unicellular organism they divide asexually by mitosis division so for reproduction also to some extent mitosis asexual reproduction mitosis is responsible so these are the different significance of what this mitosis with this we are coming to an end of a chapter and we will just uh, uh, finish it off within uh, one minute okay so what is that mitosis we discussed so it is cell cycle when you are saying it is divided into two what is that interphase and m phase mitosis phase interphase is divided into three so what are they g1 phase s phase g2 phase after that the cell is going into m phase m phase is divided into two what are they cytokinesis and karyokinesis karyokinesis is first nuclear division which is having four stages what are they prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase after that the nucleus is dividing then we can find what the cytoplasmic division that is cytokinesis from one cell two cells is formed and each cells are having the same number of chromosome that's why it is called as what equational division with this we are coming to the end of mitosis in the next class we will be discussing about meiosis hope it's clear thank you